check for advanced restart button in this particular ROM. I already made this video. It's live on my channel. You can check out Pixel Extended version 5.0 here using the advanced restart button in order to boot into recovery. If you don't have that, you can use traditional method to boot into recovery by pressing the volume up button and power button simultaneously. Use the latest TWRP recovery as you can see 3.70 tall Surya FBVV2. Once booted into recovery, go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select Dalvik cache. These things accept this internal storage and micro SD card if you have OTG also. Exclude that also and swipe here. Done and again go to install and select to here. ROM zip files. I am using micro SD card here. Wherever you download, first always flash the firmware. Even it is included, flash the firmware. Surya Global 13.0.1 is the latest firmware available for Poco X3 slash NFC. Again, go to install and select a ROM zip file. In this video, I am going to flash this Cherry OS 4.1. Flash it. Swipe here to flash it. As you can see. That's the Cherry OS version 4.1 based on Android 13. The latest build available you can see here October 9th or October security patch build available. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM, wait until it gets flashed. The ROM zip file has been flashed successfully. Go to home section here and select wipe and select format data and type here YES and press this tick button. Done. Now again go to home section and select reboot and select the system. This is the flashing method of Cherry OS 4.1 on Boko XC slash NFC. Use the same firmware, same recovery and same ROM zip file. Follow the same methods. You will never face any problems flashing this ROM or any other ROMs as I show in the video. In this video, I am going to discuss everything in detail regarding this Cherry OS 4.1 on Poco X slash NFC. Stay tuned till the end of the video. And here we go, it's booted into Cherry OS 4.1. Let's begin this video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 Custom ROM reviews. You can see Cherry OS version 4.1, latest available build for Poco X slash NFC based on Android 13. And you can see some of the specs has been added. And October 5th, 2022 is the latest security patch, and the 4.1 is the latest version of. Cherry OS, the kernel user is 4.14.290 LAUM 9.1. The other things you can read here. It's the latest available build for Poco X3. And I've been running the CPU throttling test from last 7 minutes and 6 seconds and 5 milliseconds. You can read here the scores. The maximum is 192. And again, guys, this is 200 threads. Uh, method there are some other 20 10 by default it will be 20 but from long time I'm using 20 threads only but recently for few videos i have swift shifted to 200 the big based on your request you can see average is 161 and minimum is 118 and it's throttled to 77 percent of its max performance and this is unofficial build guys maybe very soon we'll get 4.1 latest build or 4.1.05 something like that or some official build might fix this uh, problem and i can't believe just by seeing this one time i run the score you can't judge this particular rom it just gives an idea about the throttling how it happens after a certain time uh, what all the process we are running based on that it will show the results but you need people this results i am showing it out if you don't want i can manually i mean i will speak out how it handles in the performance obviously i will be adding that in the latter part of the video and this how the scores it's very good rom previously we had 3.6 amazing rom for poco x3 and uh, i mean nfc both the devices same thing has been carried away in the android 13 also you can see this is the quick settings panel you get here and proper settings has been given here if you want you can turn off the auto brightness and even you can turn on from here that's simply missing in dub fashion previously made what pixel extended 5.0 and this have that completely no need to worry about that 
and in the edit section you get print of options if you want something you can drag and add from here and you obviously know that I have keep on telling this and this is an Android terrain build you get this settings panel and power button as moon downwards and the app active notification will be get down here and media player will be played here that's how it is simple that's the visual change you can see in Android 13 and material U design and this monet engine customization has been carried out from Android 12 that's similar here and customization like clock widgets are available on the home screen if you want you can drag them and there are some presets it's already seen in any other custom rooms based on this and a 12 12 point 1 and 13 and you can see there is a direct video call feature and that's the good thing in Android 13 the Google keeps or Google duo acts as a oh, uh, dialer here i mean for video calls hence you can make all the video calls from dialer that's fine and call recording feature is also available i had never faced any problems in terms of earpiece or anything like that that's good in this particular rom and let's check out the internet connection you can see i have 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection is pulling up to 90 to net which is good thing in my opinion and mobile internet connection is also fine here i connected both the things i guess yeah mobile data let me turn off this is a little bit different if you want you can edit in the status bar i mean this you can keep separate toggles in order to turn on turn off internet for both of that that's fine in my opinion as you can see this is the scores i get and internet connectivity and network related issues i haven't faced in this particular room it depends upon your local network now moving into app reviews like android benchmark you can see the app opening time also here you get here very good score 3 lakhs 68,597 temperature is was very good here 1.4 degree celsius and 3 percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing which is amazing in my opinion again it's a app you can't simply believe on just app just you get an idea i hope you understand this camera application simply go into app information and disable it and use this arno build gcam i am keep on telling this you get all the features here ultra wide angle support is also there you can use that and to a zoom and macro mode and some other settings you can change from your config file also i already shared in my telegram channel if you have still not followed my telegram channel just go to telegram and type the same channel name the sampath sanfx you will get my photo and the hundred like subscribers in telegram have a look on that also and if you want to follow me on social media instagram twitter all the links are given in the description here and moving some of the other settings like uh, the geek pen scores you can see here the ma single score is 563 and multi score is 1575 kernel usage as i said linux 4.14.290 that's the kernel use here and the scores are good here the single score multi score could have been better but this is how we get in aosp based of custom roms you get this kind of scores here safety net status it might get passed hope so yes it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use those going to be work fine fm radio support is there my geo application whatsapp you want to use any of them they will be working fine no problem regarding that that i need to test i have tested there is no problem and security level l1 in drm information you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's also not a problem now moving into actual settings the smoothness in the ui i mean a, a settings panel it's quite a good we can't expect like 3.6 like that that's based on android 12. android 13 is still get to refine a lot more for custom roms and for poco x it takes little bit of time you know those things and cherish settings you get a lot more customization here but i am simply missing this dark theme i have checked everywhere before that let's see status bar customization you get double tap to sleep background chip and network traffic indicator and battery icon style those customizations are available you can see some of the icons you can enable or disable and some of them customizable also available here 
now moving into quick settings again here also same transparency style pull down font size date slider position those things you can customize from here now here in the themes you can choose the layout oxygen is 11 12 cherish clean AOSP has been given that's not the problem for me even home layout also you can change user card also you can change monet engine use custom theme options are also given here i mean headland body font icon back but dark theme they should have been given the pitch black condition let's see whether this custom theme can act as dark theme yeah that's good then yeah really good you need to enable here just go to use custom theme and enable black let's see whether we keep to vivid what it will happen yeah it's also good guys yeah really good they have added here but you need to check whether it is there or not it's under the hood in the use custom theme really i liked it the dark theme solution has been done here that's fine for me and Wi-Fi can still signal, I can still, I can sleep, I can pack, you can customize from here. Animations, you get a little bit of customization here, as you can see. These power menu animation, you get plenty of customization in terms of that. And animation style, only three, duration and uh, interpolator, there are plenty of customization available. Lock skin customization, you get basic customization here. That's fine in my opinion. And uh, Moving into power menu, there is advanced restart button also, if you want you can enable and some of the other toggles also, if you want you can enable from here. Notifications, there are again customization, very good customization, we don't expect this in Android 13, we already seen Carver's OS and the Evolution X has similar customization compared to this Cherish OS, that's really good in my opinion and the good thing is miscellaneous settings, this you need to always check here and these things if you want you can enable and click to partial screenshot and app lock is also pre-installed here you need to go in the miscellaneous settings in order to activate app locker pre-installed no need to use any third party app lockers and unlock high fps games really useful this is you know, not to play bgmi and pubg mobile like games this you need to enable from here and unlimited photo storage is also you need to enable from here this is all the customization available now moving into actual settings in the display you get a lot more customization adaptive brightness toggle is given in the quick settings panel no need to worry regarding that extra dim feature has been given there are little bit of customization and that in base has been added screen timeout quite natural pocket detection is given dark theme as i said that you need to enable in the theme section custom theme option in the cherish settings and screen saver option is also given that's good thing in my opinion you can even choose the photo and customize some of the panel you can see here preview you can see these are really cool in my opinion night light feature again intensity you get you can schedule it out live display colors you get these options just nothing more customizable as we see in the evolution x i hope they this rom also add those things like i can make warmer the display a little bit it's a personal preference but still i would have got that option as we see in the evolution x rom and minimum maximum refresh rate and low power refresh rate is just 60 here it is not adaptive refresh rate here just 60 120 30 like that they would have been added but anyhow it's fine full screen apps if certain apps is not playing in the full screen you can enable from here per app refresh rate is also given here you can choose that in order to maintain the battery life and battery efficient rom this is a very good balanced rom as of now it's but still it's an unofficial build but once it's get official you'll get lot more benefits from the rom i hope it will get uh, very soon the official build as we see on the 3.6 or the next version of this will be going to be very stable enough so have a look on my channel and by the way guys if you want to see such videos you need to subscribe to my channel and allow that bell notification such that whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and coming to screen unlock options you get here screen lock and fingerprint unlock no face unlock and rom is encrypted by default app lock is also given here if you want you can use from here also and location settings it's fine google maps are also working fine no problem regarding that now moving into system and gesture into this swipe to screenshot double tap to use one handed mode those things are given here now double tap to check phone that's there 
and uh, one handed mode system navigation go to gesture navigation and back gesture animation if you want you can enable and pill length adjustment is given here that which is cool thing for me and left it's right at that's fine uh, the length it's fine actually you can see the pill is visible fine here if it is very thin they would have been added the radius also but still it's an okay for me the dark theme and this pill length and some of the basic like call recording calling feature and headphone jack let me show this sound effects also whether we get any direct sound settings as you can see this is all the sound settings you get in this particular raw media player in front you can pin that also or you can remove that and me sound analysis these are the direct sound settings very good eh? we get all the direct sound settings what i already posted the video the pixel extended here all those options are again present you can choose the scene preset and headphone type yes this is an complete meal rom i can say for android 13 based on android 13 for poco x3 and nfc really good guys this is going to be a very good rom but just i can say you can still use it as a daily driver even if it is a unofficial build what happens because most of the roms for poco x slash nfc are unofficial only very few are official but those are android 11 and 12 if you want to use it a new android experience then you can definitely try this cherish is 4.1 let's see pubg mobile or bgma how it handles and obviously you get high fps you need to enable that in the miscellaneous settings as you can see the uh, graphic settings is set to smooth plus 90 fps option which is really good in this particular room that has been there in every version in some of the version they have skipped it but it's present in this particular version and experience you get is as you can see it's amazing okay i got hit from here and volume panel you can see it's loud enough actually you can't uh, get actual volume because the microphone is far away this is a very good all round rom available gaming if you want to try you can do it out battle life you are expecting balanced one that also you can do it out and customizations are also okay enough considering it's an android 13 these are the things you need to consider the basic things performance battery life and the charging speed i will show you within a minute okay i will come back here and the fingerprint unlock speeds are also face unlock we would expect like some more versions it takes but fingerprint unlock is fine here and uh, charging speeds you can see it will support charging rapidly it will show if i am not wrong no as of now it's just showing slowly only let's go into battery settings is there any option to enable or not no nothing like that adaptive preferences are given battery usage you can see here it's fine actually thermal profiles has been given extreme battery saver option is also given but we want that charging rapidly it's simply missing here if i test it furthermore i will update in my comment section pinned comment you can check out that as of now it's showing only charging slowly only that's a big thing for few people they want to fast charge their smartphone that's simply missing in this particular rom i hope they will add in the official build or upcoming build that's the review of cherish os 4.1 based on android 13 for oco x3 slash nfc if you like the video give it a like guys and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now